Hey guys, a uh, new video for Path of Exile 3.22. Uh, still on the armor stacker, and you might notice that we are wearing some different items. So uh, I decided I wanted to try out some ghost busting on the uh, uh, Transcendence armor stacker, and I uh, did swap a few of my gear uh, pieces for some magic fine gear. Not that much, but you know, I think we are at about 30. Yeah, 30 quantity and. 166 rarity it's actually a bit more it's about 230 i think because we are running item rarity sport and also changed around my flasks a little bit to get a little bit more rarity and phasing because um let's go dnd real quick um because when you're ghost busting you pretty much need phasing or it's going to be a real pain in the ass uh, also my leap slam as you can see the tooltip dps with no uh, grief. Let's, let's just put grace on. Let's just see. So we have about 145,000 DPS tooltip on Leap Slam. So you can, this thing's pretty much going to be uh, killing mobs when you don't want to kill mobs. And so basically you, you need uh, phasing. Uh, aside from that, the gear is pretty much the same. And some of you might ask, what did I remove from my unset ring? Because I was running this uh, unset ring over here before. But I removed my molten shell basically because I didn't need it. All right, so what are we doing? We're doing ghosting, uh, ghost busting on Crimson Temple, Wandering Path, uh, eight mod maps. And a uh, nice thing about this Transcendence build is that, well, it's pretty easy to ghost because you just don't really take damage. So I can just kind of relax in the maps. I get these eight bomb maps with even like maps with minus maximum resistance. Uh, we can still actually run these on Wandering Path. Actually, let's just run that. I was going to run an easy map because um, it is a little bit harder to ghost on these minus max or as maps because I'll end up being at like 56 to 58 res uh, with this minus 12 one, maybe even a bit more. So it does end up being a little bit uh, harder, but still doable. I think the only mods that I haven't tried to run is like um, elemental reflect because I don't have my awakened mult. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, elemental damage with attacks, and I don't do no regen because uh, we need uh, the regen from um, our vitality and then this mastery over here, the armor and evasion mastery to um, kind of uh, help us sustain our ES pull while we're ghosting. But let's just get into a showcase real quick. Oh, actually, before that, let's just uh, put all this here. So this is all the cards I found so far. We'll go through them. Um, how many maps have I ran so far? So I haven't really ran that many. So this is not really like an accurate sample size or anything. But and I'm not I'm, I'm not going to be picking up these gamblers and all this kind of stuff. Maybe you guys, some guys might say try picking up gamblers, but no, can't. I'm not going to do that. Uh, anyways. So, how many maps? So, I've done one full set of 48 maps, and you can see I'm pretty much done the second set of uh, the second set. So, maybe about 70 ish, maybe 75 ish maps or so. And uh, so, this is loot. So, we have about 12 uh, Enlightens, three Seven Years Bad Luck. I haven't gotten, gotten one of these in a while, actually. So. Uh, we've got two Dragon Heart. We've got two eight Nurse cards. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think this is from like an altar or something. Uh, and then we have two Apothecaries. And they get some uh, pretty nice um, tier one jewels. I dropped three Enlightened. One of them I'm leveling right now, actually. Uh, and that's pretty much the um, main bulk of the loot. Um, I did get a Veiled Chaos Altar. It's pretty cool. Uh, aside from that, yeah, so I've been doing this sort of um, minimum quant investment uh, st enraged strongbox farming for the past three leagues on usually on different characters like I am um, on the Blade Vortex uh, Occultist. But this league, I wanted to try out the Ghost Busting, and the Blade Vortex build that I'm playing usually doesn't have enough sustain for sure to actually do this Ghost Busting because it is pretty rough. Um, I'd say I think a lot of builds won't be able to handle this. You need to have a build that is pretty tanky and has very good sustain. 
uh, because you'll see uh, when we get into the showcase that these um, ghosts are not very cooperative a lot of the time. All right, so let's just get into it. Uh, if you're wondering the scarabs, we're doing the torment, divination, reliquary, and ambush. All right, so let's just jump into it real quick. Now, this isn't really like a guide, I guess, but just kind of um, I wanted to show the armor stacker doing a little bit of hybrid magic find because I think it is a very viable uh, thing to do. Um, definitely is very, one very nice thing about armor stacker is you can uh, customize it to do a lot of different content. And I could probably even be dropping a lot more um, items to get more quantity, more rarity. You can get the Eyes of the Great Wolf for like 40 quant, and then Global Defense. You can get the Sedimas here if you want. Um, you could uh, get another Venters if you want, but then you'd have uh, to kind of fix your mana cost of your uh, main attack. But it is possible, you know. So you can take this like extremely tanky, high damage build uh, and convert it into a like hybrid magic fine character. So that's pretty cool. All right, um, well, let's just jump into the map. And I'll just kind of go over what I'm doing for ghost busting. Uh, so first of all, there's a couple things to note that I've uh, uh, kind of noticed while doing this is, <clears throat> um, so you, you don't really actually get a lot of uh, monsters that you can possess. Maybe it's just because there is quite a lot of monsters in the map. But it is actually very hard to um, ghost the strong box monsters. And uh, a lot of times uh, the ghosts will not possess you right away, so they'll run around. And this um, kind of seems like a bad thing at first, but it is actually very good to let them run around as much as they, you know, they will. Um, because they will be possessing the... Uh, normal monsters in the map, right? So by the time you possess it, um, there won't be that many unpossessed monsters around you. It'll be easier to kind of hit the box. But as you can see, this character is... Uh, you, we can pretty much just run through this map, not taking that much damage. Wait, let's check our stats real quick. So yeah, we're at 57 all res on this map. Let me just show the monster real quick. Uh, but let's go find... <clears throat> Um, let's go find the ghosts. So here we go. Oh man, they're all bunched up here. So we're going to let them run around a bit. Then we've got one. So let's just open the box here. And this altar is actually really good. The, um, what do you call it? The uh, ritual. Because this ritual spawns uh, more ghosts. And then um, we can actually use those ghosts. Like uh, let them possess us. So I think we're all out of charges. The charges like seem to go away uh, very fast. So that was three. We should have a few more. Oh, okay. So one thing you want to kind of be on the lookout for when you're doing your... Oh, we just took a lot of damage. Um, when you're doing your ghosting is... Uh, you want to kind of keep an eye if you spawn the, El the uh, Eldritch uh, influence from the Eater of Worlds because... Uh, Oh, you want to kill those monsters first, basically, right? Uh, so you get the altars before you actually start killing your uh, ghosted monsters. I think maybe we'll just try to kill this um, ritual here and get a few more ghosts uh, to possess us. There's one here. So let's just let him possess us real quick. All right, got this guy. Let's get this one. Might have to actually kill some monsters because, you know, having this low res there's some like P gen that spawns it's going to be pretty nasty and I think we are at the cap of uh, oh there's a couple here okay so we got all of the ghosts let's just go run through the map again just open up another box maybe and I think we pretty much got everything so we're going to make our way over to the boss actually there might be one or two more left but it doesn't really seem like it. Oh yeah, there's one here. We got this guy. Let's just open the box real quick. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, 
Uh, we did get... What was the altar? Div card dupe. Okay, that's pretty good. I can actually click on it. Alright, so like clearing this map does take a little bit more time. And I haven't really worked out a perfect method yet, but um, you do kind of want to try to kill the uh, Eldritch minions first. So you get as many altars as you can before you actually run into your uh, ghosted uh, packs of monsters or open the boxes like this here. But I think, you know, it's just going to take too long for the showcase. We're just going to go through and kill everything. Lag the whole screen out so we got rarity. Nice. Alright, and if you guys are wondering what Atlas tree I'm doing, um, I am doing basically the same tree that uh, Snoo is doing. If you don't know who he is, he's uh, I like Magic Finder. Uh, probably one of the best channels in the game right now for uh, Magic Find, Solo Magic Find, that kind of stuff. So I'll, I'll have a link for that you guys can go check out. But it's basically just a wandering path, um, strong box, beyond. And then a little bit of like expedition and this kind of, and uh, uh, what is it? Expedition and Ritual. Alright, so. See the armor stacker definitely just like hovering through everything. Especially on this Transcendence version. You can run like the nastiest mod, uh, map mods and um, it's not really a problem. But, okay, so let's do the rarity. And I think once we clear these out, try to get a few more of those uh, ghosts, I think. Uh, it is kind of rare to get that altar. I've only seen it a few times. I'm not altar, this um, uh, ritual thing. Alright, so we'll get some more ghosts. Try not to die uh, in the showcase. <laughs> um, I do die a few times. One thing I noticed is um, the main thing that has been killing me is actually the detonate dead from the strong box. I don't know, maybe it's because I don't have my flask up, or I'm not really sure what is that exactly is going on, but... Uh, yeah, it does do quite a bit of damage. Maybe it's just the, like, amount of mobs uh, that are actually, like, in the area, right? Alright, so let's grab some more ghosts. We can only have five, I think. But the other ones might have already ran out, so let's grab a few more. Okay, um, passing. Alright, this one here. Oh, we're getting really fast. There's some kind of degen somewhere. Let's just do a ball lightning strike. Wait, where is this last mob? It's probably here somewhere. Oh, it's a ghost. Okay. Wait, come here. Alright, so, um, now that we have the ghost, we can kind of ghost up this box and almost die. Okay. Alright, so that's pretty much the map done. And I think what we're going to do is we will go do the expedition. Now, the expedition is pretty crazy um, with this kind of uh, tree. Uh, basically, it's just going to spawn spawn a insane amount of beyond monsters so it's gonna be pretty fun okay so I mean fire I think we'll just like put it here I just I do like to actually just kind of hover over it to make sure there's no lightning but yeah you see there's just like insane amount of monsters and then these guys all spawned uh, spawned the beyond that ends up being pretty fun. Alright, so that's kind of what I've been doing recently. Um, the This uh, ghost busting uh, stuff is pretty cool. Um, I think probably one of the most 
powerful mechanics right now for uh, solo magic find. If you can actually be ghosting these uh, strong boxes, you get quite a lot of loot uh, and stuff like that. And it's uh, pretty fun. All right, so I think that'll be it for this video, guys. Um, definitely try out uh, Magic Find a little bit on the Armor Stacker if you have a little bit of time. Currency, it's pretty fun. But yeah, see you next time.